A Kansas House committee holding hearings this week on the new block grant proposals for public schools. Many reductions in the plan to use block grants would shrink state aid for poor schools. They can't raise enough money with property taxes. One review says 90% of the state's richest districts would gain state aid under the plan. But 80% of the poorest districts would lose an average of $170,000. Our big story at six local superintendents tell Chris's cakes, Chris Frank, why they don't like these uh, block grant proposals. Some school administrators feeling like some legislators are trying to push through a complex change in how schools are funded too quickly without adequate study. Everybody knows very little about this. Goddard School Superintendent Justin Henry concerned the bill just introduced Thursday could be pushed through without consideration of what's best for students. You can take the formula, change the name, that doesn't add more dollars to the classroom. He says the block grant change would reduce about $600,000 from Goddard's budget. We're not pleased with it, obviously. I think there needs to be a real discussion on how you create a sustainable funding formula going forward, not just trying to rename it. Kansas lawmakers proposing using block grants as a temporary school funding solution until a new funding formula can be drafted. The block grant in, in theory is being touted as providing greater flexibility, uh, providing stability and knowing what our, our dollars will be. Um, as we look out over the next several years. But the Wichita superintendent says block grants will freeze Wichita's funding, even though the district has already cut seven to eight million from its budget this year. Allison says it doesn't account for normal cost of doing business increases and doesn't account for an increasing enrollment. As we continue to grow over the next couple of years, we're, we're not going to receive additional funding for those students. Wichita School Board and no doubt other Kansas School Board's meeting on Monday evening will be talking about these proposed changes and how schools are funded. In downtown Wichita, Chris Frank, Cake News. The block grant proposal picking up some endorsements today from both the Kansas Chamber of Commerce's CEO and the free market think tank, Kansas Policy Institute.